Okay, folks, remember a lot of my videos are together. you got to watch this one. I, I screwed up on the audio a little bit, then I give you a good description here. We pretty much know for damn actual fact that pan stars is not a comet. It's just pan stars. Don't call it a comet. This here will prove it to you with both of these scientifically. Okay, There wasn't much, if anything, nickel in that, so it's not a comet. Uh, and you can see the magnetical line. So off we go to look at a volcano today and I'm going to show you how you go ahead and look at it. You open up any one of my videos because I always put it on the show more tab and everything like that in the, in the show more curtain. So you go down here, show, then that exposes the camera shots and I always like to watch camera seven. So you hit camera seven and it'll open it up. It should open it up windows for you. Either that or if you have a real player or whatever you have for players. Okay, now we're going to look at a what's going on there now but I'm going to give you uh, some what I picked up earlier today okay in a few minutes we'll see what we got going on here I'm going to save a little bit of uh, tape time and oh actually we got some wild action we got a little bit more wild going on so I'm not going to really now I was glued in on what we've got from out in space it's stars okay uh, remember there's no such thing as an asteroid belt Okay, we do have, uh, we're going to get more into that in the future, but the idea that there is going to be, but astro, asteroid belt has been thrown around for a long time. There's asteroids that, you know, come and hit the ground, and there's asteroids there is, a, uh, we'll get into that a little bit later, okay? There is going to be an asteroid belt, uh, they keep on when they say mention asteroid belt you usually most most of the time that they're filling you full of bunk okay now as you've seen we had some static activity going on there as i first opened up the uh video now we're going to be gluing in on these i'm basically all going with the magnifier real fast this we're, we're live right now this is live so every time you go there it's live sometimes it'll be dark uh we'll get the magnifier up here and we're going to get on on these stars here and then i'm going to go show you footage that I had of these stars earlier today. And we'll see whatever we've got going on right now. And this is live shot, okay? And this is the only way because I can't pump up when we're watching, you have to pump up just magnifier and I don't get the point, okay? And these are stars, okay? Now we have way more star action than that going on and I'm gonna show you, because I've got from the other volcano down in, uh, I'll have to get the, the name correct. I'm not very great at pronunci pronunciating, you know, uh, and I don't even tell you the one, you'd have to look this one up, it's a volcano off on an island in in Japan, okay, but it takes you to this, and as you can see, we're streamed in on these stars right now, and they're giving us some pretty good action, and I'll just keep pumping up, and then it should be able to get away from the magnifier, I might have a little bit of a hard time here. Nope, we're back down on them. So now you're in on those, and this is actual star action. And you can see it fluttering around. Okay? Those are actually stars from out in space that bleed through. It's not just the sun, okay? Because those are stars. You can't you can't miss it. It's stars, okay? Now we're going to blow out of this, and I'll get a little bit more left because there's more than just one. You see, there's a greenish one, a purplish one, and let me see what we have for color before because before we had yellow red and you'll see the footage because i'm going to take it to you now and what we'll do is we'll pop out of this star action here so these stars are getting more intense and as you can see they have a lot of energy that come off them okay you can see the energy going right now it's nuclear fusion nuclear energy from outer space ladies and gentlemen and what it does is it opens up these volcanoes okay I've came up with an invention, so basically I have to bite my tongue on what the invention that I've come up with. And so, uh, and you're going to see some energy flopping around here. We're watching this live. You've seen a little bit of energy flopping around, but we're going to take you. I'm going to take you right now. So always watch cam cam camera seven as much as you can during the day. And I'm going to take you to here real fast. We're going to pump up to the left side over here, and I hope because I I had a lot of footage of what was going on and yes folks that's the sun but there's either stars that are in front of basically not directly in front of the sun yes there are there's there are some okay see what's going on above on the ridge up on the and you're going to see it better on the footage that i had earlier 
you can kind of see those dark spots. There's one right there. And th these are basically just like a wizard. They are, but it, what it is is a butterfly, butterfly effect. And it's nuclear energy, light curvature from outer space, okay? And it's got nuclear energy to it. And it, with the elements that are in these mountains, well, any, any, mount, any volcano which is a mountain that is active right now and then we'll we'll glue in on you, you got the stars there's the stars down there okay and I'll go up past these stars that are basically and this is all live camera going and what's good about this one is I don't lose the shot and then we're gonna see those two stars there but I've got better footage of that on tape here so I'm gonna get it added into the movie and remember that I was this is at live camera and it opens up in Windows okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and take you and we'll pump up again because we're gonna, go, you can see those stars there. My pointer ain't gonna work, but you can see the dark spot above because that's just sky. Okay, those are two like stars up there, and I'm gonna give you some better action of that earlier today. And there's some more couple stars there. And now we'll go ahead and go to the footage that I have taped from earlier today when I was watching this. Okay, so we, this is live, and I can just throw this away. You know, just not throw it away, but go away from this shot. And then remember, you go to camera seven on any one of my videos, and you. Just so remember, any of my videos, you just hit the Show More tab, and you can go down and get Camera 7, which, you know, or watch anyone that... Fit. Now, if you watch the Toriobo, see the light energy, okay? Volcano, and it's in Toriobo, okay? Go to that webcam there. Live webcam, Toriobo Volcano, and you'll see all kinds of action there, too. And basically, you'll see the, the, the nuclear light curvature, the butterfly effect, okay? And IE, we had this today, and then it, it refreshed. And you got the diamond there. We get the the pyramid basically and that's basically why more than likely the ancients they made the pyramids sun gods okay because what you're gonna see is this gonna refresh here in a second as it plays the camera refreshes a lot and then it refreshed and then it kind of goes away a little bit right well there and then if I played this it kind of goes away a little bit but I got to edit okay for time and then I zoomed in on it here, and then I think I, I got my magnifier up right now, and I can zoom in on this too, on the footage here. And we get this diamond effect, okay? And it's light curvature, it's a butterfly effect from nuclear radioactive fusion from stars out in space, okay? You get the diamond effect. You, get, you see it black diamond sometimes in the sky and so forth, okay? And it's, a, it's what everybody's thinking they're seeing spaceships and stuff like that. It's not. And ID, there's your timestamp from today at Toriabo. And then I can hit play here and, and probably just scoot it across real fast to save some video time here. And we were looking at that. And you, you can you can see all kinds of stuff during the day there. Okay, and then I glue in on that some more and zoom in on it. Okay, so now I'm gonna hurry up and give you the, the Japan the Japan one. Okay, at the very first, you're gonna see the action up there in the white. You'll see the black. And I could back up the video a little bit, and you'll see what was what was there. And I started pointing with the pointer. Okay, and then we're going to get to some better footage, because I'm going to get to where it's zoomed in at. And I'll have to take a couple times of editing here and getting into it. But as you can see, I'm going to zoom in on that stuff up there that's moving around, and those are stars. And save video time. And here I go, i got it playing, and you'll always be able to watch the little blue line, but you can see the stars up there, and then I end up zooming in on them. And I also have the magnifier right now that I can end up zooming in on those stars up there. But you can see them from a long ways away. And you're going to see those stars, black butterfly action, dancing around up there. And right now, I'm going to jump up with the magnifier right now. Again, while it's playing. And you see that happening there? Okay, now this isn't live, but this is what was happening earlier today. Now I can zoom in on that, and I'll see what I've missed earlier. Also, and I'm editing for time. And I'll get, it's another spot along the timeline here. And you can always watch the blue line down here for the timeline where I was catching it at. And I'm back in on it here. And I'll just try to move us ahead a little bit on the player. And actually, since I've got us going, I think I can get us to full screen for a while. And get us popping ahead to some action. And there you see above there, they were in and out. And I'll try to get the good dancing action. Now you're going to see double magnifier because the idea that I was taping with magnifier and blowing up and looking at some, some of the action. And now I'm going to get us to some of the real good action here. We zoomed in. And then I waited for some of it to come. And as you can see there's one, uh, and here's some really good action. 
Now I've got the magnifier, I can actually zoom in on the, what we got on and zoom in. And this stuff is above, it's basically, it's stars, it's butterfly effect from out in space, stars. And this is when it gets pretty darn good right here. So this is all light curvature, butterfly effect, electrical energy, nuclear electrical energy low voltage but it's atomic energy rads radiation beta gamma off stars those are all separate stars out there in space okay i'm going to zoom in on a little bit there try to show what's going on and then you, you get a pretty good show right here too of what's going on and then what i'll do is we'll get this is this is really good right here all these stars bling blinging in so I urge everybody to watch the Canadian French telescope over because that you see these black super giant stars that are bigger than these nuclear fusion nuclear stars low voltage electrical but it's very powerful remember DC current straight line current okay it's just like a laser beam just like how the scientists go to find these stars that they always keep track of their locations So all these stars are actually doing this from the beginning of the video. You watch what's going on when I showed you. And I got to hurry up and get to the end of this video. Even though this is great footage right here, I got to speed up. As you can see, I'm playing with the timeline. And actually, here's some great footage that I was zoomed in on it. This is some really good area on it. Check out all those stars. And I apologize for the, the cursor, what it does for color and stuff like that. But And then I... I think I get out of here so that, and I get the magnifier down so that you realize that that's what's dancing around up there on the screen. That's not, my pointer got stuck there. Okay, but that's what's dancing around up there in the sky above the volcano over in Japan. So, camera seven. So now I'm going to hurry up and get to the end. Even though we're in a very dramatic part of all of it, but I get the magnifier there. Okay, and then I get in on these stars. And I might have to edit a little bit here, but I'm going to get on the stars on the bottom that I zoomed in on earlier. So I got to, I got to cue that up. We're, what we're going to do is I got to let me get to the spot. I'm going to be getting in on these stars there, okay? So so I froze it, and as you can see here, I have a magnifier, and I'll zoom in real fast on the stars that I zoom in on in the video. I'm just zooming in on it what I, after I taped it, but it actually looks a little bit, it should look a little bit more crisp, these stars should look a little bit more crisp, they do, and when I was just showing you off the live a little bit, but see, every time you save a picture, and I save it from the movie, you see here, so then I'll hit play, and you'll get what we've got, what I was able to, when I, and then this is, you get the pixel rate that we've got off the camera here, and I'll get, I think I get us to full screen here, and then, as you see, it gets blurred a little bit. So honestly, the stars that you're going to see that I got a little while ago, and as you see, I had a set of three stars there in a row. And I get in on them here, and there's blue, yellow, and reddish orange. Okay, blue, green. And like I showed you before, there's tons of different size star, I mean, colored stars out there in space. And see, those are glimmering down on the volcano there and then you got all that black light curvature that i showed you earlier so i'll finish out the tape I'll, I'll pop back to where to where we have some good footage of that so here was the good footage that pretty good there uh, and then we get them dancing around also here in a little bit there'll be more action dancing along the top this looks pretty good here too it might be a little bit repetitive of what i was showing you earlier but as you see i go left here and it just gets better and better and better as you see those stars. This is where it's really good because it's just a long, big old. And then I even, I apologize for screwing up there on the deal, but the, it's just bit, the, it's a bunch of umbilical cords of, of static electrical stars. Out in, so more on Twinkle Twinkle stars here in the future. This is above the volcano over there.
I'll post the whole